Hi students, welcome to my channel. Now I am going to explain 7th class triangles unit exercise. First problem, how many right angles exist in a triangle? Only one right angle exists in a triangle. Next problem, second one, which is the longest side in triangle XYZ having right angle at Z? So first draw a right angle triangle. So this is a right angle triangle. So in the problem is given the right angle is at Z. So this is a right angle. So consider this is the angle Z. So remaining angles are X and Y. So in this triangle the angle Z opposite side is the side XY. So Z opposite side is the largest side in this triangle. So longest side, longest side of triangle xyz that is equal to opposite side of right angle so that is equal to the side xy so xy is the longest side in this triangle xyz so this is solution for the second problem next problem third roman g is it the sum of any two angles of a triangle is always greater than third angle. Give examples to justify your answer. So let us take three angles of a triangle. Angle A equal to 30 degrees. Angle B equal to 70 degrees. Angle C equal to 80 degrees of triangle ABC. So I am taking the three angle sum that is equal to 180 degrees. So in the problem they are asking the sum of the two angles is always greater than third side. So two angles I am taking angle A plus angle B that is equal to 30 plus 70. So that is equal to 100 degrees. So observe the third angle is C. 80 degree. So the sum of the two angles it is always greater than third angle 80 degrees. Now check the remaining two angles. Angle B plus angle C that is equal to 70 plus 80 that is equal to 150 degrees. So 150 degrees is greater than first angle 30 degrees. So answer is yes. The sum of any two angles of a triangle is always greater than third angle. So this is solution for the third problem. Next problem fourth one. Choose any three measures from the following to make three different triangular wooden frames 11 meters, 9 meters, 3 meters, 7 meters and 5 meters. So solution three different triangular wooden frames are 3 comma 5 comma 7, 5 comma 7 comma 9. 7 comma 9 comma 11 so i am choosing this lens the sum of the two sides is greater than third side so 3 plus y equal to 8 8 is greater than 7 5 plus 7 equal to 12 12 is greater than 9 7 plus 9 equal to 16 16 is greater than 11 so like that i am choosing the wooden frames next problem fifth roman write any two possible measurements to be suitable for the following triangles so first one right angle triangle so for the right angle triangle one angle is must be equal to 90 degrees the remaining two angles sum it is equal to 90 degrees so now i am choosing one angle that is equal to 90 degrees so the remaining two angles sum equal to 90 degrees so 30 degrees and 60 degrees why because 30 plus 60 it becomes 90 the total that is equal to 180 degrees so next one obtuse angle triangle so in obtuse angle triangle one angle is greater than 90 degrees so i am taking one angle that is equal to greater than 90 so 100 degrees so the remaining two angles are 50 degrees and 30 degrees so why because 50 plus 30 equal to 80 
80 plus 100 equal to 180. The sum of the three angles equal to 180 degrees satisfy. So next to third one, acute angle triangle. So in acute angle triangle, the three angles must be less than 90 degrees. Now I am choosing the all three angles are less than 90 degrees only. 50 degrees, 60 degrees and 70 degrees. So observe the 50 plus 60, 110. 110 plus 70, 180. So the sum of the three angles equal to 180. Condition satisfied. Next problem, sixth one. Find the value of x and y in the adjacent figure. So this is a given figure. So this is triangle A, C, L. So this is 53. So this is angle 56 degrees. The 56 and the angle C, these two are equal. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. So from the figure, angle C equal to 56 degrees because of vertically opposite angles are equal. The triangle ACL is a isosceles triangle. Why? Because the side AC that is equal to the side LC. These two sides are equal. So the angles equal to the opposite sides are also equal. Opposite to equal sides are equal. So the side AC opposite angle is the angle L. The side LC opposite angle is the angle A. These two angles are equal because of isosceles triangle. So angle A equal to angle L that is equal to x from triangle ACL angle A plus angle C plus angle L that is equal to 180 degrees so angle A is x plus angle C is 56 degrees plus angle L it is also equal to x it is equal to 180 degrees so x plus x becomes 2x plus 56 degrees that is equal to 180 degrees so from this 2x equal to 180 plus 56 it is moving to right side minus 56 2x equal to 180 minus 56 it becomes 124 so x equal to 124 by 2 divide you will get 62 degrees so the angle x equal to 62 degrees next to find y value so observe the figure so this is also the angle x the angle y plus x that is equal to 180 degrees because of linear pair so from the figure y plus x equal to 180 degrees because of linear pair so y plus already we are find the x value x equal to 62 degrees substitute here 62 it is equal to 180 y equal to 180 plus 62 it is moving to right side minus 62 y equal to 180 minus 62 it becomes 118 degrees so the y value it is equal to 118 degrees this is solution for the 6th roman next problem 7th roman in triangle abc angle a is 4 times to angle b and angle c is 5 times to angle b find the three angles so observe the problem the angle a is 4 times to b and c also 5 times to b so the angle a and c the comparison to angle b so first consider angle b equal to x so consider angle b equal to x so write the given information given angle a is 4 times to angle b angle a is 4 times to angle B so that is angle A equal to 4 into angle B so angle A equal to 4 into angle B value is X so substitute here 4 into X so angle A equal to 4X so next angle C is 5 times to angle B angle C is 5 times to angle B so that is 
angle C it is equal to 5 into angle B it is equal to 5 into angle B value is X so that is equal to 5x so in triangle ABC angle A plus angle B plus angle C that is equal to 180 degrees so because of angle sum property so angle A that is equal to 4x substitute here 4x plus so B value is we are considering x x plus angle C that is equal to 5x 5x that is equal to 180 degrees so 4x plus x becomes 5x plus 5x it is equal to 180 5x plus 5x that is equal to 10x so 10x equal to 180 so x equal to 180 by 10 so 180 by 10 that is equal to 18 degrees only so in the problem they are asking find the three angles so angle a equal to 4x angle a equal to 4x 4 into the x value equal to 18 4 into 18 equal to 72 degrees so next angle b equal to x only so that is equal to 18 degrees so next angle c equal to 5x 5 into x value is 18 so 18 into 5 that is equal to 90 degrees so these are three angles in a triangle so this is solution for the seventh problem next problem eighth roman ladder was faced to a wall one end of the ladder was making 70 degrees with the floor find the angle of the other end of the ladder with the wall so first consider right angle triangle So this is a rectangle triangle. So consider the AB that is a wall. The side AC belongs to ladder. The side BC is a floor. So in this rectangle triangle, here is the 90 degrees angle. So in the problem is given, one end of the ladder was making 70 degrees with the floor. So this is the ladder. So this is making with the floor the 70 degrees. So this is angle 70 degrees. So in the problem they are asking find the angle of the other end of the ladder with the wall. So this is the remaining angle x. So from the figure angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal to 180 degrees because of angle sum property. So angle A is x plus angle B is 90 degrees plus angle C is given 70 degrees so that is equal to 180 degrees so X plus 90 plus 70 it becomes 160 degrees it is equal to 180 degrees so X equal to 180 degrees plus 160 it is moving to right side minus, minus 160 degrees so X equal to 180 minus 160 subtract you will get 20 degrees so the angle of the other end of the ladder with the wall that is equal to 20 degrees only so the angle of the other end of the ladder with the wall that is equal to 20 degrees this is solution for the eighth problem next problem ninth roman write the possible measurements of the angles in the following table one example is given for you next problem ninth roman write the possible measurements of the angles in the following table one example is given for you so these are the type of triangles so first one acute angle triangle so this is a scalene triangle so this box regarding acute angle triangle and scalene triangle so this is the example so the three angles must be satisfy the acute angles and also scalene triangles so acute angles means the three angles must be less than 90 degrees so 40 60 80 less than 90 degrees and also satisfy scale and triangle scale and triangle is all angles are different so 40 60 80 are different so these angles satisfy both acute angle triangle and scale and triangle so like this complete the remaining all boxes so this box regarding 
equilateral triangle and acute angle triangle so equilateral triangle means the all angles are equal so 60 degrees 60 degrees and 60 degrees so observe these are also acute angles only so next isosceles triangle so isosceles triangles two angles are equal so 50 degrees 50 degrees and 80 degrees so the sum of the three sides that is equal to 180 satisfied so this box regarding scale and triangle and also right angle triangle so right angle means one angle must be equal to 90 degrees so first i am taking 90 degrees so the remaining two sides are different so 60 degrees and 30 degrees so next to equilateral triangle so this box regarding equilateral triangle and right angle triangle so right angle means a 90 degrees so in equilateral triangle a 90 degrees it is not possible so not possible so next one isosceles triangle and also right angle triangle so right angle means one angle equal to 90 degrees so in isosceles the remaining two angles are equal so 45 degrees and 45 degrees so this box to satisfy both isosceles and right angle triangle so next box so this box regarding scale and triangle and obtuse angle triangle obtuse angle means one angle is more than 90 degrees so i am considering 110 degrees so next remaining two angles are 30 degrees and 40 degrees so observe the three angles are different so scale and triangle also satisfy the condition so next one equilateral triangle and also obtuse angle triangle so obtuse angle means one angle is must be more than 90 degrees but in equilateral triangle that condition is not satisfied so not possible so next box regarding isosceles triangle and also obtuse angle triangle so obtuse angle means one angle is more than 110 degrees i am considering 100 degrees so the remaining two angles are equal in isosceles so i am considering 40 degrees and also 40 degrees so this is solution for the ninth problem okay students this is about complete exercise of unit exercise triangles thanks for watching this video for more videos please subscribe my channel